There's one right there. That feels good. There's one. Wow. It's <laughs> a net. There, there we go. <laughs> good one. Real good one. Look at that beast. Beautiful. We got him. Wow, that's a big one, dude. Oh, man. Nice job, you two. Lundboats proudly presents the ultimate fishing experience. This week on Lund's The Ultimate Fishing Experience. Like many anglers, Lund pro Dave Wasness' love of fishing started at an early age. He was lucky to have his dad and grandfather take him out on North Dakota and Minnesota waters on a regular basis. Now, as a fishing pro, volunteer, and educator, he's committed to passing that love of fishing on to the next generation of kids. Today, Dave is out on Otter Tail Lake in western Minnesota with his niece and nephew for a day of fishing, targeting walleyes in shallow water. Even though Otter Tail Lake has a ton of classic walleye structure, the cabbage edge in four to nine feet of water is often a great location to find active walleyes. Ripping worms through the weeds, they find that the walleyes are still snapping even during midday. And that makes for a fun day on the water. Nice fish. Hey, Dave Wasness here. I am with my niece, Abby, nephew, Luke, and we're going to target walleyes on Otter Tail Lake. The walleyes have moved into cabbage. We're going to be pulling worm harnesses, rip, ripping them through the cabbage. Um, maybe even pull some cranks up on the inside uh, edge of those cabbage, but uh, the walleyes are there. Should be a great day of fishing. You guys ready to hit the lake and catch some walleyes? Yeah. All right, let's go. So yeah, today we'll be fishing otter tail. It's uh, mid-July. We've had a lot of rain, so uh, the water is a little, little cloudier than uh, usual, but we're going to be uh, ripping some worms through cabbage. Uh, maybe add a little bit of flash, some spinners, since the water is a little more murky. And this lake has a ton of structure, but we tend to find a lot of the fish still up shallow, anywhere from four feet to nine feet in those, that cabbage, on the inside edge of the cabbage. So that's where we're going to focus, is really on the shallow fish. And uh, what's cool about otter tails, you can catch the walleyes at any time. The mornings, evenings, that's, that's uh, the, the best bite, but you can catch them during the day. The, these fish, they're, they're feeding up shallow. Uh, we, we'll, we'll mark them out deep, but the, the active ones are up shallow. The water temps in the, the mid-70s reaching 80 degrees, and when you have warm water, they tend to feed a lot more because their metabolism is faster. They need to, need to have more food, so it uh, should, should be a fun day. Bite. Pull up, pull up, set the hook. Yeah. Good job. Calm down, calm down. Yep. All right. Nice job, Abby. Think the hook out. There we go. It's a nice one. You wanna hold it? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you gotta give it a kiss goodbye. Alright, we'll let this one go. Nice job. <laughs> So rigging crawlers today. Got these two hook worm harness. You take your crawler and first hook goes right in the nose, right at the tip there. Second hook, I always hook right behind the collar. And just like that, and you got that long worm, extends out in the water. The walleyes just can't resist that. So how we're fishing today is we're rigging worms on uh, the edge of flats. So if you're familiar with Otter Tail Lake, there's, there's a lot of structure, a lot of these large five foot flats that uh, extend out towards the middle of the lake. And we're right on the edge, staying about seven feet, right next to the cabbage, coon tail. And we're ripping worms through that, getting these walleyes to come out and hit the worms. 
Closed captioning is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Just hook him right behind his big sucker right here. And just throw him out there. There we go. Hopefully a fish. Your rod tip up. There you go. That's a nice walleye. Nice job, Luke. Thank you. Yep, just throw okay. one. So you got that one on an orange spinner and a leech. Yeah. Oh. You know, we, we've had a lot of rain the last few weeks and the water levels up a, a few feet, the rivers are flowing fast. So it's really stirred up the water. Last few years, uh, last year specifically, the water level was really low. The water was very clear and you could get by with the two hook worm harness, not having any type of flash added, but uh, decided to change it up a little bit, add a little color, add a little flash there just because the water's a little, little murky and that paid off for Luke with the orange spinner and a leech. Awesome job. Thank you. So the rig that I'm using, I've got a 7.2 medium light, fast action, Shields Outfitter 1 Heritage Rod. Paired up with a Shields Outfitter 1 Reel, 10 pound uh, braid line, and 10 pound fluorocarbon. So on the business end, we've got a quarter ounce bullet weight, and then a bead there to protect your knot to a barrel swivel. And the bullet weight is key because when you're running through the cabbage and the coontail, that's, that's going to help create a path for these hooks so you're, you're not getting snagged up in the weeds as much. You can really rip that rig right through those weeds. At the end here, I do, I do have a little gold blade here and uh, two hooks for the crawler. So we're on a good bite now. The, the morning started out pretty, pretty slow, but otter tail is a little different where uh, the bite happens all all day long. It's not just a morning and, and evening bite. You can be out here. Our bite started around 10 o'clock this morning, uh, 9 45, 10 o'clock, and um, you can be out here all afternoon catching fish. You don't have to wake up early or stay out late or fish in the evening hours. This, this bite occurs all day long. One nice thing about otter tail is there's so much structure, so many different places to fish, and the fish are always willing to bite. There you go. Oh yeah, he's still on. Oh yeah. There we go. This is a better one. Oh yeah. Nice job on the leech and orange spinner. Oh yeah. Nice fish, hopefully uh, bigger than Abby's and um, seems like I'm winning for today. <laughs> All right, yeah. My fish is making it in the show. All right, so having a fun time fishing with Luke and Abby, taking them out fishing. Um, you know, I grew up fishing with my dad, my twin brother, Dale, um, their dad and uh, my grandpa, 
uh, fishing all over North Dakota, a lot of Minnesota lakes, and uh, that's really where I, I got my passion uh, for fishing is, is from them. And I'm very, very active in uh, local uh, clubs like FM Wally's Unlimited in the Fargo-Moorhead area. I'm the vice president of the club, and before that I was a youth education coordinator. And we'd have a lot of youth events that we'd put on, uh, seminars, fishing clinics. We would co-host events with Fargo Parks, uh, River Keepers, um, many fishing derbies and, and uh, fishing clinics. And we've had many kids go through a lot of those classes over the years. I think when we add up all the various AYA tournaments that we do, the fishing clinics, um, we get uh, well over 1,000 up to 2,000 kids a year um, when you add all those events and, and that's really where where I got you know I've got a passion for fishing and really want to hand that down to the next generation get more kids introduced to, to fishing I, I love every opportunity I, I have to get kids in the boat get them out fishing and just having a great time with Luke and Abby I'm glad that they're catching fish and uh, right now they're they've got they've got uh, more fish than I do so that's that's fine with me they, they can catch them all as long as they're having a fun time and catching fish, that's all I care about. We're at another spot here targeting walleyes, and one tip about targeting walleyes up shallow when you're fishing five to seven feet along the cabbage is you gotta make sure that you've got plenty of spots picked out on the lake to target these. Because once you've ripped through the, the weeds, you know, two or three passes, you're going to want to go off to another spot because those fish scatter and the water is as clear as it is and the boat's going pretty fast through there, those fish just scatter and it takes some time for those fish to get back set up along those weeds. Uh, so it's, it's great to have five, six, seven spots picked out where there's cabbage, coontail up shallow and just do a, go on a rotation between the five to seven spots and by the time you get back to that uh, first spot the fish will be back in those weeds and you'll be able to pull out a few more before having to run to your next spot. I think this one will be a nice one. Right behind the motor. Yep. All right, nice net job. The hook came out. Thank you. Nice eater walleye. Get back down there. Yeah, we've, we've been catching all these walleyes along the same stretch, that steep break line, going from five feet down to 30 feet, right on the edge of the cabbage and coontail. Um, just ripping the worms through. So we just had a couple of good ones uh, brought into the boat. The spot I'm on, we've got some tight contour lines. It's a steep break, went from five feet down to 28 to 30 feet of water. So the way I stay on this, uh, this edge of the weed line is using my link system and the follow the contour uh, setting on, on your graph. So I'm able to just put that cursor over the uh, contour line, about the seven foot contour line that we're following, hit follow contour, and uh, once it's set, it follows that contour, and then I'm actually using cruise control to keep my speed consistent against this wind, and uh, it's working out great. We stay right in that, that target depth, and uh, we're catching some walleyes. Uncle Dave's first walleye of the show. <laughs> Thanks, Abby. <laughs> 
Yep. Lift up. Lift up. Set up. Lift up. Real. Oh, slow down, slow. I got it. Awesome job, Abby. That puny little fishy bat. It was a monster. It's still a monster. Yeah, we're pulling these worm harnesses, two hook worm harness, right on the edge of the, the flats. We're in about six, seven feet of water, pulling the, the walleyes out of the cabbage, the coon tail. It's having a great day. Awesome job, Abby. All right, nice fish, Abby. I think we'll let it go. Okay. I got a fish here that's better than Luke's. Yeah, out here, we're fishing with live bait, leeches, night crawlers, and they can be very messy, especially the night crawlers. So what I like to do is I like to clean those crawlers ahead of time and I use my angle cooler. I've got a bunch of ice on the bottom. I clean the crawlers ahead of time and I put them in a Ziploc bag with a moist paper towel. And that's going to keep them clean, keep your, your boat clean, keep your hand clean. And it will keep them nice and firm in the cooler with a bunch of ice. I only got one on camera. You're going to look much better than me. <laughs> Add that clip, then we put slack in the line to add the back clip. That way, the flag starts bouncing when a fish bites. Then you can let out another about 50 feet of line. Mine's going to be a little deeper since we're on that, that steep break and using a planer board. Mine will be diving, diving a little deeper. All right, so an another fishing technique that we can do on otter tail on these flats is running cranks, speed trolling them up in you know, that five to, to eight feet, uh, just letting out you know, 20 to 30 feet of line uh, with the crank and then adding some planer boards. Just get the line spread out. We're covering a big area on this flat, so we wanna make sure we've got our line spread out so we've got a higher percentage of a chance to get a fish. So we got three lines in, one behind the boat, and one on each side that's about uh, 30 to 40 feet away from the boat. So we're covering a good 80 foot section of this flat. So we're fishing out of the 1875 Crossover XS with the 175 Mercury Pro XS. So what I like about this boat is it's a great family boat. We've got it rigged up for, for fishing, but you can also do a lot of skiing, tubing. We've got a ski pole that we can put in the back. It's got your aft back seating, the flip up seats, storage underneath. We can get four chairs behind the windshield. So you can have six people behind the windshield sitting comfortably. And uh, storage underneath the, the compartments for uh, tackle, side storage. You still get 12 rods in the rod locker. And another nice feature that I like is the large in-floor storage where we keep a lot of snacks for the kids, uh, a lot of other tackle, uh, your, your skis, wakeboard. Uh, life jackets, it's great storage. There's three things that I've upgraded on, on this boat. Um, first, a lot, of, a lot of buyers will buy this boat with a 150. I like to max it out with that 175 and then have the Mercury Smartcraft gauges built in. So if I want to troll cranks, I can adjust the RPMs and troll cranks with the, the main motor here. You don't need the kicker by having that feature. And then I also added the new uh, Lund Pilot Chair with the, the suspension in there. You can adjust the weight with the toggle down uh, at, at the base here, and you just get a smoother ride. That was a dealer upgrade. And then I've also put a 36 volt Tarova trolling motor in here. I like to fish a lot at tournaments. You gotta make sure that my batteries are gonna last the whole day tournament fishing. So I, I went with the 36 volt and just added that third battery in another, another storage compartment. It also has snap-in bow cushions and an optional snap-in cushion for the back deck. 
Overall, this is a great, versatile boat. Great for fishing, great for family fun on the lake, tubing, skiing. It's just an all around great boat. There, fish on. There we go. This is a good one. All right. Okay. Sounds good. This is a nice one. We got some head shakes there. Ooh. All right. There we go. Got another nice walleye here in Otter Tail. Having a blast fishing with my nephew Luke and my niece Abby. Got a nice, nice walleye here. Hey, don't overlook shallow walleyes this summer along the weeds pulling crawlers. What a great time. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like more information, check out lundboats.com or these other online outlets. Oh, oh fish, fish. Just try to get my oats and honey nature grain bars. All right, Abby, I'll have you move over this way, please. Thank you. Maybe that's the secret. Just gotta eat and get some fish. Oh, what is it, a sunny? Rock bass. <laughs>